Hi, my name is Lindsay Walker, and I help students connect to experiential and community-based learning opportunities at GCC. Don't worry if you're not sure what that means, this short video will help to explain. You may also hear the term work-based experience, particularly on Maricopa Pipeline AZ in the top right-hand corner. This is where you can find opportunities like internships. Now, let's start off with the definition because I think that will help moving forward. What is experiential learning? Experiential learning are activities that promote learning by doing. If it involves a community partner, we generally call it community-based learning. And then for both, we created an acronym, ECBL, which stands for Experiential and Community-Based Learning. The five types of ECBL that we mainly engage in at GCC are internships, volunteer opportunities, service learning, career interviews, and job shadows. I'll go into a little bit of depth for each one so that you can get an idea of what's in tales. Internships are a little bit longer opportunity if you are looking for an experience where you can still be enrolled in school and then also apply your classroom knowledge to a real world setting in an organization or an industry that you're interested in, this is a great place to start to begin to network. So when you're looking at internships, you will notice that some are paid, some are unpaid. You may also find that you can sign up for an internship class and get credit or you could just do one for non-credit for your own professional development. Some benefits of an internship include on the left-hand side, connections, meaning just connections to the industry that you're looking forward to working in. You get real world experience. And I know classroom is real life, but it's really applicable to what you might be doing in a future career. Job, job compatibility refers to whether you think it's a good fit. Is it a good schedule, a good pace? Um, do you like deadlines? Do you work well under pressure? Things like that. You can add this opportunity to your resume as well. And of course, you'll develop skills and knowledge. Some tips to finding a great match include getting your resume and cover letter ready. The process for internships are very similar to finding a job. So it's a great time just to get your application materials ready. And of course, you'll wanna start your search early. So if you want to complete an internship, let's say in the fall semester, you wanna start preparing and initiating the search in summer. Do you wanna work in person, virtual or hybrid? These are some questions that you may wanna consider. And then tip three, research organizations that match your career goals. Some good ways to research organizations include just an internet search, possibly reaching out via email, phone calls, or even stopping by in person. So how to get started with internships at GCC? You can reach out to the Career Services Internship Coordinator for support, which is myself. Number two, you create a resume and cover letter so that you're ready to apply. Three, you do a thorough search for internships and see, make sure that you are qualified for that position, whether it's education or certain skills that they're requiring. And then of course, apply to internships. And we recommend that you apply to multiple. So maybe four to five in case you get offers for one or two, and then maybe not hear back, you'll have some options. The next thing I wanna talk about is volunteerism, which you're probably familiar with the definition, but let's go with this definition here on the left. Volunteerism is the principle of donating time and energy for the benefit of other people in the community as a social responsibility rather than for any financial reward. Now you've probably volunteered, but maybe you haven't really thought about the benefits of volunteerism. So some of those include just improving your experience while at college, connects you to the community, it improves things like self-esteem, social skills, valuable skills, maybe even related to your future career interests. And then I always love the fact that you can add this to your resume as well. So service learning is a unique opportunity that blends meaningful community service with academic instruction and then has a reflection activity. To participate in service learning, you usually enroll in a course that offers it. Benefits of service learning, just a few are that it connects your coursework to the real world with hands-on learning. So you know a lot of times you spend your time in class, but you kind of are curious about what it might be like in the real world. You get to meet people in the community. You get to strengthen your resume. Again, everything you're doing 
as far as experiential learning can go on your resume, you get to practice good citizenship and develop skills. So career interviews are a little bit more on the experiential learning side. You're still learning by doing. And the way you're going to do that with a career interview is you'll get to explore an, a career opportunity where you get to meet and have a conversation with an individual that's already a professional in the field of interest that you're seeking. So a little bit of the tables turned where you're the student interviewing a professional. The benefits of career interviews are that you get information directly from a professional about the career field that you're seeking. You find out about career paths you didn't know existed. You can get some tips about how to prepare and possibly some advice. Start building your network of contacts in that field. And having a network is super important. I think it was mentioned in a lot of these slides because who you know can really affect where you find a job or even just getting some feedback on where you may want to find a job. And then we have job shadows. Job shadows are also a short-term experiential learning opportunity where you get to follow a professional in the field and observe what that professional does. Now this can last anywhere from a few hours to a week. So benefits of a job shadow include that you get to experience a day or more in the life of a professional, evaluate your skill set and see what it takes, identify whether you want to pursue this career, and then of course, networking again. So the steps for career interviews and job shadows are as follows. You first wanna find a professional. You can talk to people you know, see if they know anyone. You can use LinkedIn. You can just do a regular Google search. Find someone that you're interested in talking to or talking to or shadowing. Number two, initiate contact, whether that's calling, reaching out, even stopping by for a visit. And then you wanna prepare. You wanna reach out to us in career services. We can give you some materials to help you prepare and understand a little bit more about the experience. And then, of course, you'll perform, meaning that you'll do the experience, you'll do the career interview or job shadow, and then you want to follow up, whether that's a thank you, note, email, or a call. If you're curious about any of these opportunities and you want to get connected, you can reach me at lindsay.walker at gccaz.edu, and the phone number for my direct line is 623-845-3252. We have a lot more information at our website, which is listed at the bottom there. And since we're talking about career services, we do a lot more than what I've just explained in this short video. If you wanna take a picture of this slide or you can write it down, we do things like mock interviews. We can help you create a LinkedIn profile. We host career fairs and weekly workshops that you may wanna check into as well. And last but not least, please follow us on social media. We'd love to have you as a follower so we can share with you what we're up to. And thanks for watching. I hope you get a chance to explore a little bit more about experiential learning and reach out if you need any support.